Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to learn one one of the important concept in Rest Assured, which is async request and handling the proxy. Guys, trust me, this is this is a one of the concept that will you will require to know as a software QA. And if you have worked with Rest Assured, you should know how to handle the async request because right now people, big companies are moving toward the Rest Assured, moving toward the async request, and you should know. these things right so in this video i'm going to show you step by step with demo how what is it why why, why we use async request and how to handle proxy as well as in rest assured right so let's get started awesome guys all right so uh, we're going to target these four uh, five questions and the first question let's start with a very simple way which is basically why async request right and actually you will ask me hey pramod what is it and why it is needed right and so let's get started with it so basically rest assured doesn't support async request out of the box and right now big companies are moving toward the async apis right so rest assured uh, if you uh, if you know most of the apis that you have used right they are synchronous in nature and synchronous request block the execution of server code and until the res response is received so until the response is received synchronous request will play basically block the execution of a server right and you can read more about on this uh, if on this stack overflow discussion what is the difference between a synchronous and asynchronous call but my point in a simple way that async requests exist and they are basically uh are the requests will basically uh can happen after after certain time right so these are like sort some feature request future request which will happen after some times and they will give you a, a call back in that case so if you go to this url right and if you open this for example let's open this url and uh, let me see why am i not able to click this article no right 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 so if you, so right now let's uh let's at the time 5 second so if you see after 5 second the response will come for this right and that's what exactly we want to handle and if you use it directly when you, within your ss sure your test will fail adaptively adaptively and you will not know what exactly is going to happen right so in async request async uh, generally we call it async request which are which does not block the execution right and they are basically are the future they will have certain kind of a future response but after certain time and they will give you a call back in that case so they will generally return a call back or a function when the execution is done for example after 5 second Uh, it can be suppose you have uh, entered thousands of record and you want to access that record right so it will take certain time and it will be a async request in that case so that what you are testing so how to handle it's very simple uh, to handle the async request and trust me guys this is one of the important concept which is let's see is practically first and so we have to use a module called as as async http client so there is already a module available right and it's not a default of rest assured so we have to externally add it we we can add by using the maven dependency right in the pom.xml or you can add a gradle if you guys are using gradle in that case now the code here is very simple what you need to do is that you need to use dsl. Uh, async http client and they have the, the inbuilt http method like get post put method and you just need to give url and the body basically payload and the body and execute after that they will basically give you a response right i hope that makes sense right and so let's see it practically rather than talking about right so here i have added this is our major maven project that we were working on and uh, here i have added a dependency of async request right and uh, let's create a new file and name it at async demo right and i'm going to use a simple function main so don't worry about it and so now what you need to use is you need to use dsl dot async request async client right and this will basically ask you to prepare which method so you can use delete method as head options patch post any kind of http method so we going to make a get get request right uh, let's use this url with a 5 second and after that it will basically execute right so what exactly this give it gives a future response makes sense and uh, we can uh, type response future in that case and let's import right and 
uh, we don't want to use the concurrent one okay so it's uh, automatically doing with the current one okay let's see if it works so basically now what you need to do is that we need to get the response right and response future dot get right but the problem here is that it will say that okay i am getting the response but i may get some exception so what you can do here is that in intellij it's very easy just add the exceptions in the here right and let's do one thing let's print out the result so whatever the response that we are getting let's print out and we can do get status code so both of the things will re, will be done so let's uh, click on this green button and let's run the demo right so we see uh, so we are waiting for five seconds now and here we have we have the response and we have the status code so that's how you handle a async request uh, async type of a request and rest assured right so make sure guys you implement this thing because this is one of the important concept right so let's quickly uh, jump into the what is proxy setting and how to handle the proxy setting in rest assured this is one of the important concept before moving to api automation right and uh, in the upcoming one or two days we're going to have some api api automation so make sure you are following it right and so let's learn another concept which is right now it is proxy setting so proxy is nothing but a intermediary server that is virtually located between client and server right so uh, if we talk about uh, what is proxy right so generally what we have is that uh, as nice to have but generally we have client and we have server right client makes a request here and server basically responds back right so proxy servers are nothing but a server for example they will be here you will make a request to this proxy server it will basically make a request to server and it will reply back and this will reply back now this is your proxy server ps right so why we are using this third party because we want client want to hide its uh, information so server will think that this is the client this proxy server is a client in that case so we are hiding in that case and most of the companies are using proxy setting so how you can handle the proxy setting let me show you in rest assured you can create a new file so let's name it proxy settings it's very simple guys uh, in, in rest assured so whenever you are using uh, rest assured just enter the proxy right and here you need to enter the so proxy setting for this one right you require what is the ip what is the ip and the port right so this is the port that we need so right now right now i'm going to show you a simple demo i'm going to run a local proxy server here using charles so you can download the charles which is basically uh, it's a small web proxy that you can use use in the demo you can download it and install it so right now i'm running the charles it will basically start a proxy server so it's going to start a proxy server at this port so basically 888 right localhost 888 right and uh, let's move on here so the proxy port it's going to start is localhost so localhost generally is mapped to 127 8888 right and i'm i'm also using a local json server so this is my response and so you have added so this is an integer actually here and now you can make your request like you have made earlier right so we're gonna use pen dot cat dot ten dot log dot all all right it's gonna find it right? and in the get you have to make a request to this url and it's going to log the request so let's run it let's see our proxy server working finally yeah so as you can see our response is coming it means our proxy settings is also working so this is one of the important concepts that i wanted to highlight right so how to handle it here you can use the this parameter right and even you can if you don't want to make it here you can use here also right it's a very same 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 thing Make sense right it's the same thing if you want to use it in a simpler way i hope that makes sense and uh, if you have learned something new let me know in the comments and this is one of the important concepts related to async request and proxy setting and i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot and bye